Hey, this is Rick from Hiking Emerge Beacon, and today is another video in the GPS Map 66i playlist, and this one is about recording controls. I actually messed up in the last video, and I was saying, well, there's no way to track back when I was navigating by route, I believe, and there was if you go to recording controls. So what I've already seen out here, because I was doing another video on my Phoenix 7X Sapphire Solar Watch, and while I was doing that, I've been out here about 45 minutes. What I noticed though on the recording controls here is that it's already been recording. It, as soon as I turned it on on my vehicle, it's recorded my track out here, and I'm gonna show you that in a second. Well, the winds really started kicking up out here this morning. It was really calm just a little bit ago. All right, but hopefully this mic and the little dead cat here I know people like cats probably don't like to hear that, but that's what they call it. Uh, hopefully that helps with the wind noise. All right, so I'm gonna go into recording controls. And here you can see, so 4906, it's already been tracking. I can hit stop, save, discard. What I wanna do right here at the top, it says play, pause. I wanna arrow over, and this has information on the time, the activity, distance, it has a lot of information you can see right here. Man, this wind's blowing so hard. I don't know if you can see it, the camera's kind of jumping around a little bit. But I can go to the map and it says current activity. And this is where it says track back. Now I'm not gonna go to track back yet. I wanna show you the profile. This is where, I mean, this flat out here, so the profile's no big, big deal. But if you were on a really hard course, this profile would give you great information, not just where you're at, but what kind of profile elevation gain or loss that you still have ahead of you. So I'm gonna go back here. And, and so right now it's saying to go. I don't really wanna go anywhere. But when I go back to map, it says track back. This is a great thing. You know, I was looking at, I was talking to Garmin, they were saying the Garmin Enrich Mini 2 is the only one that sets down these hidden tracks. However, when I turned on this 66i at my vehicle, there's a blue path behind me that shows where I came in. And I can hit track back right now. So I'm going to do that. Track back is an awesome feature. Now I'm going to zoom out so you can see the whole thing here. Back to where I came from. And I can, right now I'm, I'm tracking back. It's a magenta line in front of me. And then behind me it would typically shows up as a cyan or blue be, behind me as uh, where I came from. The, the track back is a great feature. And it get you, it'll get you out of trouble, get you back to safety. What I want to do right now is I'm going to stop this. So I'm going to, I just hit enter. It says stop. I am going to hit stop. Now say it says the activity, save activity. I'm going to delete it. I'm going to clear. And I'm going to get back out of here. It says stop again. Let's stop doing this, folks. Okay, so another way to stop navigation is if you just hit the menu button once and you're in, you're navigating, you're tracking back, it says stop navigation, map setup, so I'm going to hit stop navigation. So now the screen shows no course. What I want to do real quick here is I want to set a course on the 66i, and it just be some waypoints around here, and then we're going to do a, a quick little hike. I probably won't even hike the whole thing. I want to show you how it works, and then how I can then hit the recording controls and track back uh, and, and just show you what really happens with this. It's really powerful. You really need to get out and test this to really understand and know what it does like I'm doing right now. So we're gonna go here, create a course. So I'm gonna go into the menu and I'm gonna go to course planner. Now there's a route planner also. That's not what I want. I did the, I, I'm using course planner now than, uh, more than route planner. Uh, in fact, I'm not even using route plan planner anymore. So I'm gonna go, gonna go into course planner I'm gonna create course. Now it says select first point. Now honestly, this is easier to do with the, the Explore app on my phone, but I just wanna show you how you do it here. So now it's saying use map. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the map. And I always put a waypoint down right where I'm at. So I'm gonna follow my the route through the trees here. Now, I really wanna see this on the aerial so uh, I've got the bird's eye view. I'm going to turn bird's eye on real quick. If you want to know how to do all that, you go to your menu, you go to setup, and go to map. And under map, there's conf uh, configure maps. So under configure maps, 
Then I've got birds I already set up. I've already downloaded maps out here. I also have Hunt View. If you want to know anything about Hunt View, you check this, uh, this you hit the top right button here when it shows up here, uh, that pops up on the screen and it'll take you to a recent video I've done on Hunt View. It's great. So right now I'm just going to go down to Bird's Eye Satellite Imagery and I'm going to turn it on. And I'm going to just say Normal, Enable Normal. So now when I go back to my maps, now I've got the aerial. So again, I'm going to go back into the course planner and create course, then select first point and use map. So now in this case, now I'm going to zoom in here because there are trees here and there's ways through the trees. So I, I want to create this course as like I'm going through the, the, the clear areas. I'm going to put down use right here where I put my, my, my where I'm currently at. So I, I added the first course. The point. Now, in this case here, it's easier on the phone, as I said, because all you have to do is tap. Here I have to arrow. I've got to arrow over, over, kind of where I think the path is through the trees. Now, it shows a second point, and I'm going to hit use, point added to course, and then I'm going to keep doing this. I'm going to keep arrowing to where I believe I want to go on this course. And again, I hit use. I'm just going to keep going around, uh, around this forest right here. It's a, small area it's not a big area but it shows you it'll give you an idea of uh, how to how to do this all right and i'm almost back to the start here so i'm not going to go right over my location i'm just going to get close to it point added to course now i'm going to hit quit and all the all the points show up and it, i can now go over here and say review so when i hit review it shows me the course now i can zoom out to see more of it like i just did i'm going to quit that and then I'm going to go hit done. Now that's course 001. So I'm going to click on course 001. It says direct path or roads and trails. If I pick roads and trails, it's going to shoot me off over to the nearest road or trail and it'll just mess me up. So I want to go direct path. All right, so the first thing happens, it comes up with course 001 information. At the top, if you arrow to the right, then it shows the course. It says course 001, shows all the waypoints. And again, if you arrow one more to the right, then it shows the profile. So I'm going to come back here and I'm going to hit go on course 001. So the course is magenta in front of me. I'm going to walk up here just a short distance and show you that it's actually following the course. We'll come back and we'll wrap this up. Really simple stuff, but again, got to come out here and test. Okay, you can see here as I was doing this short little 75 yards or 100 yard hike, uh, you can see I was I was wrong on where I set the course. The I the actual the route through the trees was a little to the right, but you can see that on the screenshot. So I could have zoomed in closer on that aerial and gotten more accurate. But for sake of time, you can see how it works. Now here, what I want to show you is you go down to recording controls, and I hit on that, and it says current activity. I went a distance of 498 feet, and again, there's track back. Here's the profile, where I went on the profile, and the information didn't go very far. It, wasn't, it didn't take that long, and I can stop, save, or discard. Again, I'm going to go back over here to the current activity, and if I say track back, since I started right here, it should basically tell me I'm done. But uh, I've hit the track back, and... You know, I'm back at start. So, I just, here's this. It's really simple. I say it's simple, and it is. But this has more technology in it and more power. Not power as in battery life, but power as in functions. It has more than I've ever seen. Now, the, the Montana 700, 750i, the, the Tread series, they may be more powerful. I still have to yet to get those two and test them. But of these for hiking, this is the most powerful. But as I've been breaking it down on this playlist, you can see how it works in each condition or situation. And it, you know, I, the Mini 2, I, I'm going to do a playlist on the Mini 2. In fact, I'm going to start it today. And I'm going to run through all the things the Mini 2 does. But having this 66i right now, you know, other than the battery life being an issue, uh, it might be my number one satellite communicator now. We'll see. This is tough love with these satellite communicators. Uh, do I really need to pick one? 
Probably not. I just use them for how I want to go out. I will say, when I was talking to Garmin about this, I was saying that, you know, this is probably more for longer outdoor adventures because of all the power and things it has. They disagreed with me, this particular uh, tech. And he said that the Mini 2 may be better for longer outdoor adventures because the battery life on that thing is incredible. And you don't, you don't need to use a phone with it, but if you do, if you want to use your smartphone and, and get more, you know, have more convenience, you could leave your phone on battery safe, turn it on once in a while if you want to send a message. It's so much easier to send a message on your phone. So there's different ways to use these devices. And if you get out, as you get out and you test them, you'll see how you like to use them. Are you day, a day hiker? Are you, you out long adventures? And, you know, depending on what device you're using, you're going to always want to have a portable charger with you. You. you know there's so many things they're very powerful they're great but back to the 666i and the recording controls it's really nice it's great it i mean it started as soon as i got out of that vehicle and and you had the blue line the cyan line and then i could track back and then when i created a course i followed the course and i could use the recording controls there and see where i went see my profile and then i could track back there it's a great feature that garmin put in here and i hadn't used it before and wasn't familiar with it now i am i'll be using it a lot probably every single time i go out all right that's it. Please like, subscribe, share, and turn on notifications so you'll be alerted as soon as I put out new videos. And please leave comments. Love your advice. I love the tips and tricks that some of you have on different things. And it helps me to learn more and to be better at, at these so that I can then do different videos or articles and, and give that information back to other people. So love to correspond with you guys. And I will see you back out here on the next video.